Part 5, Web Tool and Choice of Shift Factor In our sample application, we compare whether the volume of a pyramid is smaller than the volume of a cuboid. The base area of the pyramid is a square. The pyramid has a maximum volume of 4,000 cubic meters, the cuboid has a maximum volume of 1,000 cubic meters. In addition, the following prerequisites apply, the lengths, widths and heights of the geometric bodies may not be more than five times each other. Taking these two prerequisites, maximum volumes and aspect ratio, into account, we can determine the maximum length, width and height of each body. Hence, the maximum width of the pyramid is 39.15 meters and the maximum height is 66.943 meters. Length, width and height of the cuboid can be a maximum of 17.09975 meters. Since we want to compare the volumes in our sample application, the maximum volume is the decisive reference variable for the size of the value range and thus for chosen shift factor. This time, we will use the tool mentioned in the first video to calculate suitable shift factors. To access the tool, one opens the eclib.com website and navigates to the tool section. With the provided tool we can determine the appropriate shift factor by inserting the maximum value range of our variables. Our pyramid has a maximum volume of 4000 cubic meters. If we enter this value into the tool, we receive the value 19 as a suggestion for a suitable shift factor. With this shift factor we can represent a range from minus 4096 to plus 4096 with a resolution of factor 1.907349 times e to the power of minus 6. Further below in the tools section we see a list of drop down menus with example codes. We are interested in the sample code in the 32 bit version, as we can reuse this code snippet for our application. We can easily copy, reuse and rename the variable definition for our project. The macro eclibfix32.19 senior defines the new variable of type eclibfix32. Calling the first video of this quick guide, this data type consists of a signed 32-bit parameter and a const s8 variable. The s8 constant represents the shift factor and is also referenced in the name of the macro. Underscore 19 SR stands for a shift by 19 bits and means an increased accuracy. By using this macro, the shift factor is already defined and initialized. The S32 variable is only defined by this macro, the initialization of this variable still needs to be done separately. Now we copy the eclibfix32.19 senior macro to our Eclipse environment. Since we want to calculate the volume of a pyramid we call the newly defined variable volume pyramid. Similarly, we now define the other required variables for width and height of the pyramid. Considering the prerequisites, we know which maximum values the width and height of the pyramid can assume. For example, our width can be a maximum of 39.15 meters. Hence, we receive a shift factor of 25 via the web tool. Once again, we copy the definition of the variable, insert it into the code and rename the variable to width pyramid. For the height of the pyramid we perform the same tasks. We enter the maximum value of 66.943 meters into the tool, receive the appropriate shift factor of 24 and copy the definition. Then we rename this variable height pyramid. We have now defined all required parameters for the calculation of the pyramid volume, but there is still a lack of initialization for the parameters. Again, we can reuse the example code from the tool. We copy the initialization macro for the parameter from the sample code displayed in the tool and insert it into our project. 
The initialization macro EC libset fix32 combines two properties in itself, it converts a floating point number into a fixed point number and assigns an initial value to this fixed point number. We assume that our actual pyramid is 25 meters wide and 15 meters high, so we have to initialize our variables for width and height with the values 25 and 15, respectively. Hence, we use the copied initialization macro as a template, first we fill in the right variables, namely width pyramid and height pyramid, then we initialize them with the values 25 and 15. For the second geometric body, our cuboid, we perform the same tasks and receive the following definitions and initializations. We define the variables volume cuboid, width cuboid, height cuboid and length cuboid and initialize their shift factors with 21 for the volume and 3 times 26 for width, height and length. These values are calculated by the shift factor tool. After that, we initialize the four new variables. Our cuboid is 10.202 meters wide, 10.38 meters high and 8.1 meters long. The volume is initialized with zero.